Welcome. We're here in Onshape and side a sketch where I have a triangle and we're going to look at using the linear pattern tool. So next to the offset mirror um, tools, you have this button right here, or it may look different depending on which tool you've used more, most recently, but you've got the linear pattern, circular pattern and transform buttons all here. So on the linear pattern tool, just like the little icon suggests, you're going to be able to make a table or an array of the same sketch feature. So uh, the tool is turned on, it's highlighted. I'm going to go ahead and select the entire triangle by just dragging and um, getting a highlighted box around the whole thing. I could also select each side individually. And right away, I get some things that kind of looks like something's happening, right? I have um, these arrows and I see these 1x and that's 3x and I see like a little dimension line right here. Okay, so what's happening is I'm being allowed to determine the number of times, the number of instances um, for kind of rows and columns. And this one, think of rows being horizontal. And this is how many horizontal rows I'm gonna have. It said just times one. So I'm gonna change that to say uh, five. And they're all right on top of each other. I also get to control this dimension, which is the distance between each row. And so right now it's set to one inch. I'm gonna double click on that and I'm not exactly sure what it needs to be so that they don't overlap, but let's try 10 inches and zoom out. Okay, that's still overlapping. Let's go to 15. Okay, so you can see I can control the number of rows and the spacing. I can do the same thing horizontally. Now, instead of typing um, the dimension, I can also just drag this arrow and it changes that. It maintains from each column, right? Each, the spacing is consistent. Um, so I can do that quickly to kind of space about, and I can fine tune and type in a precise number here. And to change the number of columns you want, you just double click and adjust the number in that box with the X, click your multiplier. And that's it. You get a nice table where all of your sketch features are perfectly and evenly spaced.